Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching House of the Dragon episode 10. It's the season finale. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, stuff kind of went down in the last episode, right? Viser okay, well, Viserys passed away in episode 8, right? Allison thought he said that he wanted Aegon to be king, right? So she was like, bet, bet. She got the work, she told Otto, and they got the work quick, all right? Aegon was anointed anointed king in that same episode very quick and then Princess Rhaenys she got away though she she got her dragon she got the hell out of there she made a big scene getting out of there it was a great scene actually and she got out of there and I saw the trailer of this episode and yeah she's gonna go tell Rhaenyra what just happened over over here now I have a, a slight feeling just, just a little hunch that Rhaenyra and Damon aren't gonna be too happy I don't think they're gonna be that happy about that you know just so just like a gut feeling type of thing you know yeah i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that would be available on patreon there is no early access so <clears throat> let's get started grandson was the greatest sailor who ever lived i get green sick before the ship even leaves the harbor i'll just ruin everything i don't want driftmark i mean at least he's self-aware i was Four and ten. Same as you are now. I wasn't ready to be Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. It was my duty. And not so... perfect. Oh, trust me. She's not perfect. I am anything but. Yeah. Princess Rhaenys has just arrived on Dragonback. <laughs> she urgently requests an audience with you and Prince Damon. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to see Damon's and Rhaenyra's reaction, dude. Oh my god. I feel like Rhaenyra is going to be kind of quiet. Damon's just going to... Hope for news of Lord Corliss's recovery. Viserys is dead. Yeah, she wasted no time. She just said it. There is more. Mm. Egon has been crowned as his successor. <laughs> uh. Oh shit. They crowned him. How yep. did Viserys die? How long ago? The day passed perhaps too. I was made a prisoner in my quarters while the Queen made her preparations. Ceres has been slain. Alicent demanded you declare for Egon. She did. Uh, I refused her. And yet you are alive. Yeah, I got the fuck out of there. <laughs> I did. They crowned him before the mass. Mm -hmm. See him as their rightful king. That whore of a queen murdered my brother and stole his throne and you could have burned them all free. Oh, Damon's so mad. The Greens are coming for you, Rhaenyra. Yep. And for your children. Oh, fuck, yep. You should leave Dragonstone at once. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Rhaenyra can't even... Okay, yeah, Rhaenyra's in total shock, dude. She can't believe what she just heard. Baby's coming. Mm-hmm. That, too. This should not be happening. It is fucking happening. I see why Demon thinks Viserys was, was slain. It totally looks like that from like their perspective. It looks like that 100%. But I mean, like, we know he died, you know, on his own. Unless... Your grandson, King Viserys, is part of have repudiated the succession and claimed the Iron nope. Throne. Egon has been crowned king. Yeah. What is to be done about it? Nothing yet. And where is Damon? I don't know. Damon's in the war room, dude. He's getting ready. Gone to plot his war. Yep. Whatever claim remains to me, you are now its heir. Oh. Naught is to be done but by my command. Dude, is Rhaenyra gonna die giving birth? No way. That has decreed no action be taken while she's in bed. It's good you're here, young prince. <laughs> you're needed to patrol the skies on Vimax. Did you hear what I said? He doesn't care. Come with me. I'll show you the true meaning of loyalty. Oh shit. You swore an oath as knights of the king's as do all who wear the white okay. cloak. What are you doing here? To whom? Do you acknowledge the true line of succession? Yes. Yes, my prince. Do you recall who King Viserys named as his heir before his death? Mm -hmm. Princess Rhaenyra. So he's gonna test them right here if they swear anew your oath to Rhaenyra as your queen. But yeah, if they don't swear loyalty to Rhaenyra to Rhaena to Rhaenyra. They die. But if you choose treachery, mm. 
If you swear fealty now, only to later turn your cloak, know that you will die. I swear my loyalty to Rhaenyra. <laughs> I think she's refusing the help because of the way because of the way uh, her mom died. Oh, oh god, oh. Oh, oh my god. That baby just got a concussion. Is it dead? Okay. Is the baby dead? I mean, like, the maidens looked away, you know? I mean, because she just dropped it on its- She just dropped the baby on its head. <laughs> oh, that skull does not look good. That head- Oh, it's- It died. Okay. It's dead. Alright. Alright, so it, it died when, uh... It hit the ground. Okay. Damn, R.I.P. <laughs> I think she refused help from the maidens because of like what you know, like what happened to her mom and Lady Lena. I'm I'm guessing that's why. I swear to ward the queen mm -hmm. with all my strength and give my blood for hers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that guy chose the right side. You know, he saw the winning side. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna join them before it's too late. The true queen. Hell yeah. And the song in the back too. That was hard. Ooh, that's that's really cool, wow. Lady of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. <laughs> How come she's not bowing or kneeing or anything? There has never lived a Stark who forgot an oath, and with House Stark. Mm. The North will fall. The Greens have dragons. They have three adults, by my count. We have mm -hmm. Cyrax, Caraxes, and Melis. Your sons have Virmax. Oh, oh, she, oh, she's like, oh, we, you have my dragon? To gather a toehold large enough to house a sizable host here at Harren Hall. We cut off the west, surround King's Landing with the dragons, and we could have every green head mounted on spikes before the fucking moon turns. <laughs> All right. I shifted to Sats offshore. A long galley oh, and a banner of a three-headed green dragon. Alert the watchtower. Oh shit. Alright. It's on. Hell yeah. That's just that's auto. Want to make peace or something? Well he wants him dead. I figured Allison would probably do this to make peace, but Where is the princess? Mm. You have some balls coming here, buddy. Hey, just like she showed up in, uh, like the second episode, I want to say, very earlier in the season, you know, it was like the same exact thing on the bridge, on this bridge and everything, but, yeah, it was Damon and Otto and then Rhaenyra pulled up on a dragon, same exact thing, different context now, she's leveled up a bit since this happened last time, this time she stands next to Damon. I'm Queen Rhaenyra now. Mm-hmm. In his wisdom and desire for peace, mm. he's offering terms. Okay, buddy. As king, and swear obeisance before the Iron Throne. In exchange, his grace will confirm your possession of Dragonstone. Nope. The dragons in heaven carry shields and caps. <laughs> for your drunken usurper, cunt of a king. Bro, you're lucky if we let you live and leave. He was anointed by a septon of the faith before the eyes of thousands. Every symbol of legitimacy belongs. Cool, he's not the true heir, so. Stark, Tully, and Baratheon all swore to me. When King Viserys named me his heir. Oh, well, they switched because he threatened them. I only regret that you and he were the last to see the truth of it. <sighs> You are oh. no more hand than Egg of his king. Oh, Fucking shit. traitor. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he could get another one, another pen. Hmm. The fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Damon has no patience. Um, can carry on in peace. Bro, we're not submitting to this. No. I am the queen! She could have her answer now, stuffed in her father's mouth along with his withered cock. Let's end his mama's fart. 
Oh shit. Yeah, I don't know why. Me, Lord Hightower, so I may take the pleasure myself. No. Oh. Damn. King's Landing will have my answer on the morrow. Hmm. I don't think she's gonna agree. Never. But I think she's trying to buy more time or something. Look, Otto, here's your answer. Here's your answer. Let me pull it out of my pocket really quick. Right here. <laughs> All right. I spoke often of the Valyrian histories. I know them well. Mm -hmm. When dragons flew to war, everything burned. Mm -hmm. Yep. I do not wish to rule over a kingdom of ash and yeah. bone. Oh, you can't control it. To defend the realm, not cast it headlong into war. The enemy have declared war. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, Rainier doesn't want to go to war, but Damon does. Like, would you? Are you not angry? Well, I should declare war because I'm angry. No. Mm -hmm. Because it's your duty as queen to crush rebellion. You know my oath reaches beyond our personal. They're a good balance, you know? It's like the good and the bad, you know? You know my oath reaches beyond our personal ambitions. Mm -hmm. A song of ice and fire. Yep. Yeah, he has no idea. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Against the darkness in the north, a conqueror's dream. Mm -hmm. Sarah shared it with me when he named to me. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What are you doing, dude? Dreams didn't make us kings. Dragons did. Ah, uh, and Damon's too confident on those dragons. I never told you. Nope, he never did. I've had men whipped for falling asleep on their watch. <laughs> We. we lost. In his haste to bury you and claim your seat, he stood before the king and denounced Lainor's <laughs> sons as illegitimate. Yeah. Damon, Damon kind of killed him. Yeah, he's like, why did he do Damon that? Took his head for it. Uh, I reached too far. And for nothing. Yep. Our pursuit of the Iron Throne. Is that an end? You were never gonna. It, it. I don't think it ever really started. But that mm -hmm. girl destroys everything she touches. That girl is holding the yep. realm together at present. Every man standing around the painted table urges her to plunge the realm into war. And she's yep. And she's like, she's. Rhaenyra is the only one who's demonstrated restraint. Yep. It's not the right time, and everything. And you know, you don't want to. Make a super emotional decision and have it be your downfall. So she knows that. Yes. Too few to win a war for the throne. Mm-hmm. Well, we would also hope to have the support of houses Aaron, Baratheon, and Stark. Hope is the fool's ally. Yeah, I was a little bit. I say you hope or you know. <laughs> but all of them swore oaths to me. As did House Hightower, if I remember. As did you. <laughs> Lord Corlys. Oh. This high tower treason cannot stand. You have the full support of our fleet and house. Hell yeah. You do not mean to act. Taking caution does not mean standing fast. Mm. I wish to know who my allies are before I send them to war. Yeah, smart. How is she going to unite the realm? She just starts a fat fucking war, you know? Eyes in the stepstones. Is that we now control them? Bet. That's a big dub. Deborn travel and trade to King's Landing. Okay. Dude, I gotta get this map so I can like understand how far away everything is from each other and know where everything is. Exactly. I have a rough idea in my head, but we should bear those mysteries. Dragons can fly faster than ravens. Hey, alright. And they're more convincing. Yeah, oh yeah, they're way yeah, that's that's valid. All right, don't die. I like Jace. He's a good character. To treat with Lord Craig and Stark for the support of the North. North should join us. I have faith in the Starks. We must remind these lords of the oaths they swore, and the cost of breaking them. Mhm. Mm ah, oh, fuck no. Well, they were in a really tough situation with Otto when he like forced them to break them. You know. Like, if they break them and then they join, they join back like immediately and like say like, "Hey, we were pretty, we were highly threatened to break the oath with you." You know, it's like, but we're back with you now, like a uh, fucking two days later. Is it really that big of a deal? <laughs> kind of, yeah. I wouldn't 
punish them too hard. I'd give them like a slap on the wrist, but swear it to me now. Under the eyes of the seven. I swear it. Yes, yeah, swear to the gods. To the old gods and the new. Kriggan Stark is close to your age than to mine. I would hope that as men we can find some common interest. Expect you will receive a very warm welcome. It's getting the dragon. Damn. Just trying to tame it. He's so nervous. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Prince Lucerius Valarian. Oh, what's Eamon doing here? Oh, shit. It's coming to, like, you know, make sure we're... God damn it. I brought you a message from my mother. The queen. Yeah, Eamon's, Eamon's here yeah, to represent. Day, I received an envoy from the king. Yeah, he's here to represent them, the king and everything. High towers. Fuck. That other dragon out there is Eamon's, okay. That makes more sense. Dude, bro, you're not beating him in a fight. Like, and you're not supposed to fight anyway, but if you gotta do, you gotta do, but you're not winning. <laughs> King Egon at least came with an offer. My <sighs> swords and banners for a marriage pact. Yeah. Do as your mother bids. Which one of my daughters will you wed? Fuck, any of them. Yeah, you can't, you can't marry anyway. You've come with empty hands. Go home, pup. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. My lord strong. Mm -hmm. Did you oh really God, think? You did you really think that you could just fly about the realm? Uh, and steal my brother's throne at no cost. Ah uh, no. Uh, no. I will not I... fight you. Yeah, fuck no. I'm good, bro. No. I want you to put out your eye. Oh, what the hell? Okay, first of all, no. Sec no. I'll pass. I'm good. What the hell did they replace him with? Replace his eye with, you know? Is that like a crystal or something? Plan to make a gift of it to my mother. Uh, no, bro. No. Okay. No. I I'll Yeah, exactly, yes. Well is a traitor. Not here. Give me your eye! Or I will Yeah, not here. And just like Allison tried to take it. Came as an envoy. I'll not yeah, have not... that shape beneath my roof. Take Prince Lucerus back to his dragon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. Okay, I respect that. He's still protecting him. I respect that. But don't let Eamon leave, bro. Don't let him leave and go after him later. But yeah, I mean, like, that's fair. Eamon at least came with an offer, a marriage offer. Really came with nothing. But what? Yeah, this fucking. <laughs> Oh no. No, oh no, what's wrong? Arax, what's wrong? Is he hurt or tired? Watch the other thing kill his dragon. Or the, can the dragon not fly in the rain as well? It's probably really hard. I mean, they're near, I mean, they're in the middle of a storm, dude. I, I feel like Eamon's behind him. On his dragon. Oh, that dragon's huge! Dude, I could literally just eat him and his dragon. Oh. Rhaenyra said Dragonstone's not that far, so maybe they'll make up. I mean, they could be here. Maybe they'll make it back to Dragonstone and then. I don't know. Uh, too big for that. You owe a debt. No, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. No, Arax served me. Oh, shit. Arax did that by itself. Oh, shit. Okay. 
Okay, we made it out of that. Damn. Damn, it's nice up here. <gasps> oh! Fuck. Yeah, and Aven didn't even mean to do that. Like, holy fuck. <gasps> oh, he. Yeah, he feels like shit about that. <laughs> oh, no. R.I.P. The air accent. Oh. And Luke. <gasps> Oh no! Mm -hmm. Oh god. Ah, she's. Oh, she's so mad. All right, well that's that's the end of it. Oh, that's so tough. That is that is so tough, dude. That is tough. <sighs> yeah, I don't think Eamon meant to do that. <laughs> okay, wait, so yeah, I'm assuming Rhaenyra just found out right there. Damon just told her what happened. Okay, if you think about it, how would they ever find out? Like, I guess it's like, oh, well, he hasn't returned. It's been a long time. But like, how would you'll never really know what truly happened to him? You know, unless someone just finds like his dragon in pieces that fell out of the sky. You know, or unless Eamon says in something about it, but if Eamon doesn't say shit, no one will ever know what truly happened. But I guess they know, so, all right. All right, so that was House of the Dragon, episode 10. Pretty solid episode. Like, you know, these things do take some time to develop. They really, you know, that's what they focus on the most, just the development of the story, which, which okay, I can, I can appreciate, you know. But no, they're just still building up the tension between the high towers and the Targaryens, which, okay. Guess we'll wait for next season. When's that coming out? A year or two from now? But, but yeah, like, shit, R.I.P. Luke right there. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> uh, like, Aemon didn't mean to kill him. He just wanted his eye. You know, it's like, you owe, the, you owe it a debt or whatever, right? Because he's salty about what happened to his eye. Like, and like, you know, Allison was like, give me his eye, you know, when it first happened and everything. You know, it is Aemon's, I do think it's still Aemon's fault that Luke is dead because if he just, if he, if he would have just stopped, you know, if Aemon just kind of dropped it and left him alone, that never would have happened, but nope. Nope, Eamon's, Eamon's a little bit petty, so no. And I bet Rhaenyra's gonna blame herself for this happening, you know? She's like, oh, I never should have sent Luke or anything, you know? Like, she didn't really want to send him, but but at the same time, they wanted to go. They wanted to be involved, you know? And she wanted to give him a responsibility, you know? And this is the price you pay. And she sent them to the shortest route possible. She thought the Baratheons were still loyal to her, but no, she thought this was gonna be easy. You know, she's like, okay, I can trust them to handle this. I can trust that they'll be safe. But no, we had no idea Eamon was going to be there. I mean, that does make sense. Like that High Towers would send out these proposals to their new allies, you know, to keep them happy and everything. Because, yeah, they probably expected Rhaenyra to go and send for, for Rhaenyra to send for them, you know, and be like, hey, you're still loyal to me, right? You know, they probably anticipated that. So that's why they sent Eamon there, you know, with a gift and everything like that. And yeah, Luke showed up with no gift or anything. So it's kind of like, ah. Uh... But we didn't really think we had to do that, so... <sighs> okay. And, you know, like, Rhaenyra didn't want to rush to war, you know? She wanted to make sure... She wanted to collect all her allies, make sure she was good before she went to war, you know? Don't rush it. But now I think this means... Hey, this just means we're going to war faster now. Especially after this, we can't just sit here and do nothing. Like, we have to do something back. But I guess we'll see in the next season what they decide to do. You know, and Damon, he wanted to rush to war, like, immediately. Because cause he's very confident in our dragons. You know, and but I remember Viserys kind of saying like to control the dragons, like we don't actually have control over these dragons, okay? We think we do, but we don't. I remember him saying that, and it's kind of just like okay, better safe than sorry, you know? And yeah, I mean, and it makes sense for Rhaenyra want, not wanting to go to war immediately because she's supposed to unite the realm, not cause a fucking war, <laughs> not start a fucking war war here. <laughs> so okay, I respect it. And, like, the way that Luke was talking to the dragon, too, like, when he was trying to take off and get out of there, you know, he was like, he was like, Arax, obey, obey, you know? 
and uh, and it's like how do you really have control over these dragons like dude like they're not dogs they're not just gonna be blindly loyal to you or whatever so like yeah all right a dragon's gonna do whatever the fuck it wants to do so that was season one of house of the dragon can't wait for season two i really enjoyed this series a lot so comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching